Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to Earth's Medicine, where we explore the healing wonders of Mother Earth with a Jamaican flavor. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of Fasten Pond Coat, another Jamaican medicinal plant that has been used for years in folklore medicine to treat a variety of maladies. If you're new here and you like to learn about the medicinal uses of plants that are grown in Jamaica and in other parts of the world, then please consider subscribing and turning on your post notifications so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thanks guys, now let's dive right into the video. This plant is scientifically known as Priva lapulacea. And apart from Fasipan coat in Jamaica, it's also commonly referred to as burbush, catch burr, and burr in the bark, among other common names. But it depends on where it grows on the island. In other parts of the world, it is commonly known as cat's tongue, Berber, Mozut, Common Velvet Burr, Burr Vervain, and Old Lady Coat Tail, among other common names. This plant is from the genus Priva, and this genus contains several plant species. The plant also belongs to the Verbenicee also known as the verbena plant family and if you are familiar with blue vervain or vervain which is this plant or lantana camaro which is this plant it's from the same plant family fasten coat can be found growing throughout the island groupings of the lucayan archipelago also in the Caribbean, Mexico, Central and Northern South America and can also be found in the southern parts of the United States. In Jamaica, it can be found growing wildly, organically and abundantly in different green spaces, you know, like in people's yards along roadsides and also in forests for example in terms of the description passing pun coat grows as an erect or prostrate annual or perennial herb and it can grow up to one meter tall in height the leaves are arranged oppositely and they can be up to seven centimeters in length they are ovate or deltoid in shape. The stems and leaves are covered with small hairs and are typically square in cross section. The flowers can be white to pale blue or even lavender and they are arranged in terminal racemes that are up to about 20 centimeters long, usually shorter and they open continuously with new flowers that appear every few days. These are the fruits and as you can see they are small round inflated capsules. They are also green in color and they have hooked hairs that tend to stick on animal fur and people's clothing whenever contact is made. Fasten pun coat is said to be useful as a cough medicine. Persons also use it to treat internal parasites. And they usually do this by boiling a handful of the leaves in three cups of water for 10 minutes. Then three cups of this tea is taken orally each day for three days, followed by a purge. It is also said that this plant is useful for treating sores, infections, wounds, and fungal conditions. 
and this is usually done by parching the leaves over a flame then they are powdered and applied to the affected areas for itching skin and rashes mashed leaves are made into a poultice and the juice is rubbed on the affected area the plant is also said to be useful for treating gonorrhea female problems and to treat kidney disease for a sore throat the plant is either used alone or nine of its leaves are boiled then three drops of vinegar is added then this mixture is used as a gargle and the leaves are tied around the neck to draw out a splinter the plant is pounded and combined with soft candle then it is placed on the splinter and soft candle is basically a container wax candle that is an old time remedy used to reduce swelling and boils the plant is also used to make tea and this tea is either taken alone or with licorice to treat colds here in Jamaica the plant is used to expel mucus from the body some persons also say that it's useful for improving one's vision and for helping to remove cataracts it is also used to cure sores and one way in which this is done is by washing the leaves and tying them on the sore in Grenada it is taken as a quote-unquote health tea for undernourished children in the Gianas the whole plant is pulverized then it is mixed with a little salt made into a poultice and then placed on strains and sprains and in Mexico it is used to prevent miscarriages that's it for now guys please do your own research and see you in our next video